My name is Dr. Randy Moore. I've been doing musculoskeletal ultrasound full-time for 16 years. I used to say in a lot of my presentations that um, MSK ultrasound was on its way to becoming standard of care, but I don't say that anymore. I say that it has arrived. And if you're not doing MSK ultrasound in your practice, then you're uh, in danger of being perceived as not cutting edge. The ideal candidate for a person to take an introductory musculoskeletal ultrasound course it comes from a list of people that uh, should be taking it. Uh, sports medicine practitioners, uh, pain medicine practitioners, rheumatology, um, orthopedists are becoming more interested. Uh, but physician assistants and nurse practitioners, uh, definitely a skill set they should develop. Hi, I'm Lian Vu. Um, I am a sports medicine doctor. In my training and fellowship in sports medicine, we use a lot of ultrasound. My name is Val Lyons. As an orthopedic surgeon, I'm finding more and more need for ultrasound, uh, mainly because it reduces the need for ionizing radiation and also improves the accuracy of injections. My name is Timur Yassin, and I am a board-certified physiatrist. It's definitely put together a lot of the knowledge and a lot of the hands-on skills that uh, I did not have prior to, to coming to this course. And my name is uh, Jesus Medina and I'm a specialist in pain management. I come from Mexico and I just was there about uh, two weeks ago in Mexico City. It's very, very new in, in, in Mexico. It's new here, so Mexico, they barely ever heard of it. Uh, but in regional anesthesia, we're more advanced in that area. But for MSK diagnostics, nothing. And pain management, barely get in there. My name is Rob Peckham. I am an orthopedic surgeon. There are situations in my practice where I can save money for my institution uh, by using the ultrasound in place of a modality such as MRI. Um, I work for the government. Uh, I get paid no matter what I do, but it's advantageous to the government if I can do something that gives me the same information with a with an examination that doesn't cost them so much and so that's valuable to them. It's a great course for beginners and to get uh, familiar with anatomy. The visualizations and the handouts were uh, particularly useful. It allowed ample time for me to first um, see the techniques demonstrated and then I was able to um, practice these techniques on live models which was very helpful and then I was also able um, to watch uh, another partner do the technique and critique them. A lot of the material has, is not currently covered appropriately in the textbooks, so this course elucidated that pretty well. I think you can immediately leave this course and you know, either today or tomorrow, you can start you know, performing these techniques. I think a course like this is really valuable in the hands-on practice in doing the ultrasound examinations. A uh, great instructor who has lots of tips does the live demonstrations, but then we get to actually do it ourselves hands-on, and that's invaluable. Two people per machine, so that's brilliant, brilliant, because you get that one-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction with the doctor and everything, so that's great. Uh, we cover uh, normal tissue characterization, normal anatomy, uh, just a very brief mention of ultrasound physics, only that which is pertinent uh, to what the doctor needs to know to, to optimize the image. Then we cover all of the extremities, the shoulder, elbow, hand and wrist, uh, hip, knee, ankle and foot, and then we move on to a little bit of work of, on the spine as well. Uh, the learning curve uh, does not have to be as protracted as people perceive. I don't want to uh, overcomplicate it, nor do I want to oversimplify, but I believe I found a balance in there where we can give you this skill set in a shorter period of time and get people excited about going back to the office on Monday and uh, doing their work with the ultrasound.